Welcome to All Car Review Channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. The 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee is an SUV, or 4WD in the traditional sense of the word, that we really want to love at car advice. It is price positioned as extremely good value for money in the proper 4WD segment, it's above average on road, properly capable off-road, well appointed and comfortable inside the cabin, and carries the weight of a legendary badge. It's that legendary badge that can either be a blessing or a curse. Jeep's off-road history is both long and forged in the dirt of the most remote corners of the earth. 4WDers will tell you until they are blue in the face that Land Rover, Nissan and Toyota need a competitor like Jeep to keep them honest, and to give buyers an extra option. The question we need to answer here, though, is whether this specification grade, especially with the petrol engine, is the one you should buy. The theory of Grand Cherokee ownership goes something like this for me. Forget the 2WD model, why would you? Really? It's a Jeep Grand Cherokee. 2WD makes no sense. Sure it's a price leader, but let's scratch that one altogether for serious buyers. Imagine trying to explain your Grand Cherokee was 2WD. No thanks. If you want to go off-road, tow or head off on long road trips, get the AWD diesel in whichever specification grade you can afford. If you have plenty of money and you love cars, buy the SRT with a bellowing Hemi V8. If you've got even more money, wait for the Trackhawk to arrive with an even more offensive bellowing Hemi V8. Would that theory above does, however, is leave the Garden Variety AWD Petrol V6 variant sitting out in the cold somewhere. Is it the right option for buyers who spend most of their time around town? Never head off-road? Never tow a trailer or boat? Diesel is usually more expensive to run, and more expensive to buy in the first place, so let's look at that straight up. We're testing the AWD Petrol V6 Limited model here, the petrol range topper aside from the SRT in other words. The Limited has a starting price of $62,500 before on-road costs. Compare that to an AWD Diesel Limited, which starts from $69,000 before on-road costs. So you already have a $6,500 saving over the equivalent diesel before you even start. We've tested the new Grand Cherokee extensively at Car Advice, and most recently I spent time in the SRT, which slurped a not completely ridiculous 16.1 liters per 100 kilometers at the end of a week behind the wheel. Considering the sledgehammer ability of the Hemi Bend 8, that's not too silly at all. This V6 Limited used 16.6 L-100 km after our week with it, believe it or not, against an ADR claim of 10.0 L-100 km. Some of that excess could be explained by the reality that you have to work the V6 engine pretty hard, but we'll get to that. By way of comparison, our most recent week with an AWD diesel Grand Cherokee saw an impressive return of 7.9 L-100 km. Okay then, so fuel consumption isn't the be-all and end-all, but it is one of the aspects buyers talk about before a purchase. You can see why the extra cost of the diesel model makes sense, though, if you spend a lot of time towing or driving off-road. Some buyers hate diesel, they don't like the smell, the oily bowsers and grout surrounding them on petrol station forecourts, and they think petrol is a perfectly sensible option for daily driving, even in the large SUV class. That's what the AWD Grand Cherokee Petrol steps in, 